The next thing that we are going to do for this set of data is we are going to determine the mode. I'm still working with exactly the same example as we used when we were doing the median and the mean. We are still working with Joan and her athletes running around the athletic stack, the amount of 800 meter. If we now look at the data set, I'm going back to when the data set was not arranged yet. When we do the mode, you can choose whether you want to arrange the set of data or whether you want to work with it uh, as it is here, not arranged. When we are looking for the mode, we are looking for the number that uh, repeat itself. In other words, the number must appear more than once in this data set. Now, if the numbers was arranged like we did when we did the median, it is easy to see that it is 160 and 160 that is repeating itself. When it is like this, you can also just scrutinize and check which number is appearing more than once in this data set. And if you go and look, you will see very clearly it is the value of 160. So the mode is referring to the number that appear most in the data set. And in that case, it is going to be 160. We found the mode to be 160. We have now done the calculation of the mean, the median, and the mode. And you must please realize that we are referring to the mean, the median, and the mode as measures of central tendency. Now, later on in the DVD about box and whisker plot, you will see that we will do make use of the value of the median again. The next thing that we're going to look at when we are dealing with a set of nota is called the range. When we determine the range, we are going to subtract the lowest value in a data set from the highest value in the data set. Now, again, when we were doing calculation of or determining of the median, we first ordered the numbers from the smallest to the highest. And then we saw that the smallest number is 145 and the biggest number is 170. Now, if you have arranged it, then you work with those arranged values. But you don't have to arrange it to get the range. You can simply also scrutinize to see what is the highest value that appear in the data set. And if you go and look through the numbers, you will see that the highest number that appear in the data set is 170. The lowest number that appear in the data set if you go and scrutinize all of them, you will realize that it is 145. To get the range, I am simply now going to subtract the two values. So if I go to my calculator, I can simply say 170 minus 145 and I see that it has a value of 25. So all that the range is, we say it is the difference between the highest value and the slowest value. The difference of in mathematics just means you must go and subtract the two values. It will show us through what, uh, how the data is spread out. It is spread out from 145 up to 170.